Quebec, where we're going to play some more Go. This is day eight of our misadventures. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. Huh. We see some familiar names here, maybe, sort of. All right, so the secret I figured out the other day, set period time to 60. Uh, makes the game more interesting. Let's see, 150 seconds main time. That's two and a half minutes. That's really quick. Oh. You know, if I change the board size, it'd be kind of cool if it could change um, all these settings, too. Uh, so five minutes, five Bioyomi, one minute apiece. Ranked. Meh, why not? Do, 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 do. Hey, where'd the music go? Oh man, I am being so gypped. Oh well. Man, why can't I have the cool music until the game starts? Alright, well, now you get to listen to me babble, guys. Um, but yeah, the other day... I uh, had a three-hour go stream. Didn't actually think it would go much more longer than an hour, and I just kept going at it. Um, and after that, um, I did take a look at uh, Nick Sibiki's video, or Sibiki's video, um, about just uh, openings in Go. Not Joseki per se, but... Um, just general, well-understood opening theory for Go. And summary is that he never really explained why you want to take the corners, but it's because it's easier to surround a corner. Um, you could get uh, a perimeter of two stones per space on a corner, like right next to a corner, just one, two, you get a space. One, two, three gets three spaces. One, two, three, four gets six spaces, and so forth. Um, I played a few games. They were, ended up being longer games for online. Well, I think I played like four or five games yesterday. Probably four. I lost count. Um, now, I am a double digit Q. This is day eight of me playing. I think this is day three of me playing on a board of this size. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, I go first. Nice. I gotta zoom out to catch enough of the board. There we go. I think that should look fine on the stream. Ah. Uh... <laughs> okay. Not what I expected. Um. That's cool. Here, should we play a cross game? No. Uh, yeah, what the heck. Let's do it. Let the fighting begin. I should not be doing this. Um, okay, let's put one there. Um... And then, I don't know, let's claim the other side. So we got like this huge, enormous section of the board. Okay. I mean, yeah, I'm spreading myself a little bit thin here, but no big deal. Um, so that's the star point. Can I just put a thing here? I don't want to completely balance the position, but... Um, yeah, I can make all these cute little approach moves. So, they say don't attack a stone directly. Like, that makes it stronger. I'm not sure if that applies here. Um, yeah. Right. I'll just be glad to be playing an okay game. I don't need to know or memorize anything to play at my level. We're just going to play some moves. 
um, get some space and be happy with it. So I'm picking a fight already, possibly unwise. I mean, I might lose a single stone. It'd be catastrophic, you know? Um, but I think this space here is pretty big. I think this space here is pretty big. I think this space is pretty big. This is pretty big. So the one stone, eh, who cares? Um, okay. I guess I could, like, protect my corner or something. Well, so, I mean, there's no reason not to do this, right? Just build up more thickness. Okay, yeah, he gets the corner, but this is not the best shape in the world. Oh, good. He's actually going to try something. Um, I should put something somewhere around here. Or maybe just to, well, I can't ignore the corner completely. There's a lot of space on this board. That's pretty low. This is also kind of low if I play there. Um, I mean, this is kind of an approach move, but all of his stones are pretty high. I could just drop a stone in here, or even in between, and mess with him, but um, let's just put one here. How bad could that be? Okay, he's attaching to my stone. Um, I could disconnect him. Do I want to disconnect him? Here, let's just put something there. And cross cut him. I mean, I've got influence here, yeah? Okay, maybe going there was not the wisest play. I get something out of this. I think that's my corner. Uh, if I go there, he just Atari's me again. Yeah, we're fighting over things that probably don't need to be fought over. Look at us fighting over this little corner. Yeah, okay, so he goes there. I'm going to protect on the other side. Okay, I did not expect that. You'd think after a while I would get used to opponents attaching to my stones like that. Okay, so what gives here? Why would he want to do that?
Maybe I should like connect it this way instead. I'm not sure. Maybe I didn't even need to connect. Let's push him around a little bit. I guess I get pushed. Um, Okay, I could have seen that coming. Definitely could have seen that coming. Um, fine. Okay. Uh, what now? This might be a warm-up game, guys. Uh, this definitely might be a warm-up game. Two, three, four. Hmm. I know I hear things about like five space jumps. That's a four space jump. Um. Yeah, so what do I want to do? Let's just put one out here somewhere. Take whatever space we can get. Playing a lot of really low moves this game. I'm not sure why. Like, all my stones are basically on the third line. Okay, he's playing way out there. Um, is that a net? I'm going to push to try to get out of this. I don't think that's a successful net. If he goes there, I go here. I mean, I think I'm okay. It's close. And I need to be paying a little bit more attention than I'm paying here, but... Um, it's not quite subtle enough. On the other hand, maybe I should have just let the two stones go and I could build up influence elsewhere. But yeah, I guess this is what happens when I pick a very fighting style opening. And then we get four independent games all going on at the same time. Um, so... I'm still trying to count if he can just completely cut me, and I, I think I'm safe. If I'm safe, then I should be planning to do something. This looks fun. I don't know why. 
like I'm picking this enormous pocket out here. Yeah, maybe this game would have been a little bit saner if I didn't pick a cross game. If um made it easier for uh, both of us to make bases. Um huh. Okay, I've completely cut him. That's really weird. So, these three are separated from those two. Um, okay, I mean, I don't want to put all my stones too close to each other, but he's presenting me all these opportunities to cut him. What am I supposed to do? How do I turn that down? Probably bigger moves on the board somewhere. That looks big. This is seemingly a big pocket out here. Um. Atari. Well, that's an eye. He's successfully surrounded one territory there. Yeah, that, that one territory is definitely his. And I guess he's got the corner too, but... Man, that wall... That's quite a wall. Well, force him to kill my dudes. I do have an empty triangle there, but... Uh, what can you do? <sighs> Let's go there. If he cuts me, just connect this way. If he cuts me there, I don't know. Still connect this way. Oh, that's Atari. I can't just ignore Atari. Um. Okay, we just cap that. What do I want to do now? Well, I can't just leave my one stone abandoned here. We're going to extend. 
and start moving into this shape. Looks like I'm pretty close to surrounded there. He's certainly making an attempt to just kill things as frequently as possible. Um, I'm not sure that he's actually going to successfully kill any of this. I mean, sure, he's getting some territory somewhere in here, but... Um, So I've cut him there. What do I do now? just reduce that a little bit. That was probably a really slow move here. Um, just try to move into kill. Because now I've got tons of stones in this vicinity. Okay, he's attacking my weakest stone, so I'll strengthen it. How does he intend to live out here? Okay, um, mm -hmm. we'll clamp that here. Do you know what? <laughs> I mean, I guess he's got, like, one territory or something, and he's getting my stones, but, um, he might even be able to live. He's probably alive. 
as much as I want that to not be the case, um, I mean, there's just so many potential ways that he might be able to live there. So this is where I'm supposed to read it out. Oops. Wait. Okay, apparently I have to zoom out a little bit in order to be able to play here. If I play there, he attacks. I'm still an Atari. Um, let's try it. I should be reading it out instead of just throwing stones on the board. Um, worst case, this does reduce that corner a little bit, but... I don't know what to think here. If I just keep throwing in here... Well, no, I'm one turn away from being able to throw in and just kill it. Um, amazing. Um, either that or I'm misreading this, which is more likely. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess that is pretty small. Um, um, mm -hmm. All right. I'll just claim the bottom side. See, no matter where I place these guys, he's always attacking. Like, he doesn't understand peace. He's not interested in peace. Yeah, White's already alive down there. I should have recognized that a couple turns ago. Um, give me extra moves and I might be okay, but... Like, why does he even make this little shape? I don't understand that. When he sees that I can just simply connect right there. That's a dumb move. I mean, yeah, it does keep all my stones together, but I still haven't found enough eyes yet. Well, okay, my dumb move now turns into a trap. I confess that's what I was thinking about. Um... So there's that. Oh! <laughs> the double digit Q jukes. They're awesome. He's gotta be pissed. But uh, even this is still pretty small. There's still a game to be fought. Okay, yeah, I, I'm like 22Q. I'm sure my opponent is something else, something pretty similar. So, we're the noob, um, we're the noobest of the noobs. 
Okay. Oh, he's 17. Okay. I thought that he wasn't going to be 22. Um, it sure felt like today I'm getting a better fight than I had yesterday. Uh, in terms of just an opponent who's not drunk. Um, why is he always fighting? I don't understand this. Like, is this the thing you do and go, or is this just a personality problem? Like, any time I put down a stone, he's like, I'm going to go fight that. That can't be a healthy attitude. Okay, I'll connect, I guess. don't understand what fighting is, so does my opponent. Um, I'm not sure if that's a statement, question, or observation. Uh, I'm 22Q. Apparently my opponent's 17Q. Um, we're fighting over nothing here, if that's any indication of our strength. Um, So, this is a rated game, so I'm not supposed to be taking advice during the game. Um, if you want, we could do some more unrated games next. I'm almost getting this thing surrounded now, aren't I? Agitated. What do I do about this? I guess I run this way. And now, which way do I want to run? I have more than one option. This seems logical, but he can just cut me here. Um, this also seemed logical. That's a problem. Alright, so I'm an Atari, so I'm connecting. There's got to be multiple weak points in his formation here. Sorry that I'm being uh, slow <laughs> in terms of just understanding stuff. Um... What a mess. What a mess. How do I read? 
read this. I might already be dead there. I'm not sure. Okay, it is... Well, again, this is a rated game. I'm gonna ignore your advice and pretend that you're just making that up. Um, but it does look quite dead. I'd have to kill this group of three in the center to get out. Which has one, two, three, four liberties and can run really easily. Meanwhile, I have four liberties also. So uh, I'm not going to be able to kill that quickly enough. Um... This is one, two, three, four liberties here. One kills. Um, this is Atari. I'm learning the hard way. Um, oh, that's self Atari. One, he connects. Yeah, this is dead. One, two, three, four liberties again. I can get some influence out of this, but it's not going to be enough. So he's got three liberties on this group. I've got four on my group. I'm building this enormous pocket out here, although I'm losing all these stones in that territory. I guess he just runs away. Look at all these cutting points I'm leaving. Um, so yeah, I'm playing on OGS's Todovsky, the well-esteemed composer. Um, Oh, right. Um, so he kills my dude there. One, two, three, four. This is Atari. 
doesn't attack his group though. I want to attack this group. I'm learning the hard way why this doesn't work. Um, it's more f interesting to me to play it out and see how it fails um, than to sit there for the remainder of my time calculating how it fails. This way it'll be more memorable. Or the word you use in Go is reading, not calculating. Oh, he just cuts here, doesn't he? So it's Atari. I Atari the one stone. He protects his one stone. Atari's my four. Um. So, yeah, Go is a game of give and take, isn't it? You're always negotiating for something. So, my four kicked the bucket there. Um, but I might be able to save this larger group. He's gaining more liberties with every move I play. I still don't understand that. I guess I'm filling in my liberties, which is no good. Well, like, the entire game, he's been provoking conflicts. Um, and yeah, now I'm reinforcing his behavior. Okay. How does that work? What's that about? He got this in for free. Oh, that's how he gets his extra liberty and gets out. Interesting. Atari. So he does escape. Okay, so that's how it all works. I never, ever could have calculated that. So now what? I mean, I could Atari him again. That's, I'm sure he just caps me here. Don't play the threat now. Take his liberty. I mean, I've got stuff I can do here to take a liberty. Um, he, uh, fill, he takes this. I don't know. Okay, I do this. This is Atari. Oh, he kills my four. Um, but this group lives, and because this group lives, it still threatens to take this out. Um, I think escaping this group is probably the reasonable play here. If he caps me, then what? Oh, yeah, then I'm shorter on liberties than he... No, this is Atari. I, Atari, he's got to take my four. And then I go for this seven. I 
think. Right, this is how we learn. I can get burned a thousand times here, guys. and you, <laughs> I mean, you'll all tell me I'm sure that I played things incorrectly. But I'm playing the game, so... No local co-threats. Um... What? Okay, so he's escaping his seven here. Interesting. Wow. Um, that's a development. Well, that's also Atari, so I have to respond to the Atari. But this can't possibly any be any good for him, right? And just start surrounding and killing this nonsense. There's no way that's alive. Not even a hint of an eye here. That's incredible. He still has more liberties than me. Oh, because I still have four liberties here. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he's got too many liberties. My four died to his six something. So, unless I find a miracle play, it's not happening. Um, that's right. Okay. Still, I can... I've got some good influence and stuff. That wasn't a disaster. It was just bad. time pressure guys we're feeling the time pressure When do we get to the phase of the game where I can just blame everything on time pressure? When do we get there? I'm so ready for that phase. Okay.
so I've still got ton enough liberties here. I don't have to worry about a liberty shortage. Yes. Oh, he still gets a free move. Oops. Fine, so I have to fix. Where do I play now? What territory do I take? What's left to be fought over? Oh, that is Atari, isn't it? Oh, I just make my problem worse by extending. Fine, kill my stone. I lost a stone. Oh no. I don't understand why he keeps doing this. I guess he keeps reducing me because I don't know how to plug walls and not leave all kinds of holes behind, but um, he's still sitting on all of his Bioyomis, by the way, <laughs> as I'm in my last um, Bioyomi.
It's like this whole time I've been in time pressure. Does he not know how the clock works? I don't know. Or is he just like finding that this is too much time? This might have been a really slow move. I just want more time to think. And he's not giving me that. Where is the... oh, here. Well, I lose two stones. Still gonna surround some territory here. It's just not what I thought it was. One, two, three, four. He's still got all the liberties in the universe there. Um, fine, I'll play this move because I'm not sure where else to go. Is he still alive, no matter how I try to handle this situation? Or do I have to throw in here? Yeah, if he gives me a time, I guess I throw in here, and um, uh, he doesn't have space. Like, that's an eye, but where's eye number two? Thanks for helping me cheat, but um, maybe I should play unrated games next. I mean, I did find that on my own, but... Um, it's Atari. Uh, 
I think this, uh, well, this user interface does, but the server I'm playing on doesn't force you to fill everything. So I guess the answer is no. That I don't have to play this out to the bitter end. Because um, we're playing this on the OGS server, and um, I think the server is what does the scoring of the game. So I could save my one stone, or I could go ahead... Um, I'm not even sure if I could save that single stone. Either way, I think this is worth more. Ah, <sighs> I don't know. Again, um, thanks for helping me cheat. All right, but yeah, it's Friday. We're having fun. Um... I think I'm doing okay this game. My opponent's finally almost going into his second Byoyomi, so maybe I've done something right. Okay, I'm just gonna seal that off so nothing stupid happens. And then fix my cut. Yeah, so I'm the 22Q. Um, I think I'm doing really well against the 17Q. Like, really, really well. So it's possible that I might not be 22Q forever. Um, okay, he's finally moving in to kill my thing. My monstrosity. I'm not sure what the largest play on the board is anymore. It's probably not that. Probably anything else, but... Um, wait, how are we estimating the score? <laughs> That's a pretty funny estimate. There's no way that I control... 25 more territory than my opponent. That doesn't seem... or vice versa, even. I'm sorry, he apparently controls 11 territory to my two. 
according to the estimator. All right, yeah, hell no, we're not letting that connect. This is not connecting to that. Feels like I need to just connect things together for them to not fall apart. I Okay, you played way up here now. That's cool. Um First line seems really dumb, but I didn't want to make an empty triangle. Well, I made an empty triangle anyway, so that was pretty dumb. Maybe. I didn't think that would be so good for him. I guess it is problematic that the shape, but um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's a difference between an empty triangle and a filled triangle. I win. Nice. Where's the GG button? They totally need a GG button. All right. Well, um, yeah, feel free to challenge me. And if I can find a way to accept it through this interface, uh, we'll play. It sounded like you wanted to play an unrated game, and I would be up for that. Um, so, yeah, if the interface lets you send... if OGS lets you send the challenge, and if I can see the challenge, we'll play. Um, in the meantime, okay, uh, the score estimator here is probably pretty weak. Um, probably my audience has a far stronger idea of what the actual score estimate was this game. Uh, I see white controls this corner, I control this corner. I control this corner. Uh, we're both killing some stones. Like, he gets my thing. He gets, like, all this space over here. I kill his stuff here. I kill his stuff here. I kill all this. Um, so, so far, I lost uh, six, nine stones to lose him losing three. Um... Oh, I guess, no, this counts, too. I get these three, and whatever empty space is contained herein. So, how do I estimate this? Let's say that this is, like, 12 points. We'll say this space in here... Oh, he doesn't even have all of that. He has some of it. He's going to get a lot of this space, so that's maybe another... I don't know. 
This is complicated because we played a uh, cross game where we took opposite corners and everything went to heck in a handbasket. Um, so even scoring this is pretty much of a mess. But I think between getting all this space up here and getting this corner um, and getting this corner and getting this corner although this is not the largest corner ever but um, yeah it looks like I've got more territory he's gonna get more stones than I captured but um, somehow we estimated that this was worth resigning um, and if there's two reasons I'm still befuddled by that resignation. One, um, he gets uh, Comey, seven and a half. Two, he's capturing more. S I think he's capturing more than I am. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what he's getting there. Um, I'm getting like six something here, seven, eight. Um,. I guess I'm capturing more overall than he's about to capture, so the captures are going to even out. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. I've got three corners, and I've got this whole section in the middle here. Okay, because, yeah, this is a really large space, and my bottom left... Oh, wait. Yeah, when I kill all this, this is all my space. Like, this whole 8x8 eight eight corner is mine. That does kind of change things. Just a little bit. I was busy counting, like, oh, look, I got these little spaces here. Isn't that kind of cute and stuff? But, no, I get this whole freaking corner of the board. That's enormous, plus the space up here. Um, okay. Yeah, when you want to estimate, you compare similar group sizes. Yeah, it looks like I got more points because of my spaces. And even though I lost more stones up to this point by six, that doesn't nearly account for what's about to happen. Yeah, my bottom left, this enormous corner, matches up with pretty much with this whole two right group, top right groups. Like, I don't know. Okay, so apparently I've been sent to challenge through OGS. Let's see if I play online. Um... Shoot, I am not seeing it. Main menu. Play online. Huh, that's unfortunate. You know, I'm sure at some point in the future they'll... Right now you can only play with Steam friends. Um through this interface. Um, I mean, feel free to send it again, but I'm not sure that it's going to show up here. Uh, this, this is a new integration with OGS, and so they don't support everything just yet. Um, I don't expect to see a challenge here. Like, I could always go back to the main menu and challenge a friend or something, but um, yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Um, <laughs> you know, the other thing I could do uh, is I could say new game, and if you get to it before somebody else gets it, we could have a new game together. Um, that's the best I could offer without completely changing how the stream is set up.
Um, should I try that? What kind of game would you like to play? The only thing I will insist on is 60 second Bioyomi. And probably five Bioyomi periods. Uh, so yeah, let me know what other parameters you want. Whether you want 9x9, 9 13x13, 9, 19x19. Base time, please, at least five minutes. But whatever you want there too, I guess. Like, I could either create a public game or I could play with Steam friends, but I don't have a way to play with OGS uh, people. So, 19 by 19, okay. Um, all the rest are fine. Okay, so I'm going to type ready here, and then I'm going to hit the create public game. So, in just a moment here. Okay, create public game. So if you get to that first, we've got a game. There we go. So that worked just fine. Good luck. Oh, I forget. Eh, I don't even... Okay, so we're going to play a more balanced game here. Uh, let's see. Let's zoom out just a touch so I'm able to place anywhere. Um... I think the polite thing is to play like this. So... Hmm. <laughs> that seems like a funny way to approach now, doesn't it? I don't even know if that's advisable. We're gonna find out. Look at those fourth line stones. Um, well, I'm sure something's going on here. Don't know exactly what. So, pick a corner, pick a corner, etc., etc. Um, where do I want to go next? Man. Such a large board. Such a large board. Hopefully I'm doing better than I did yesterday um, with my whole um, just approach to the Go opening. Man, that that stream yesterday was something else. Now, am I supposed to hit the 3-3 three, three point when he does this? Or is it too early to do that? I mean, this definitely looks like a corner here. I just don't know if like that's what I should be doing. Eh, what the heck. Okay. Well, a thing is happening. Fine. Okay. 
That's a 3-3 invasion. I guess that's a thing. Um, uh, is that too close? Is this too close? I don't know. This looks more conservative. This looks fun. Yeah, he probably goes out here somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, space jump. Okay. That's a large extension. I did measure that right, yeah? Yeah, it looks okay. Um, now what? Now what? Certainly we've done a lot of jumping. I've got no base, but that's okay if we drop the base. Where do I go? 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 <laughs> uh, okay. I admit to being severely confused by this. I mean, there's a lot of ways to approach this corner. Most of them are probably bad, if I had to guess. So what's he doing? I mean, sure, I've not built a base yet, but is that an excuse for this kind of stuff? I've... I don't understand. Well, we're almost in Bioyami, guys. <laughs> uh, this will be a fun game. Uh... I play somewhere. Playing somewhere is a thing. Um, okay, we'll just carve this space out, I guess. Yep, we're in Bioyomi already. Woo! That'll be fun. Um... Uh, okay, sure, kill my thing, I guess, whatever. Is this alive? I mean, surely it is. Yeah, it's not even a question there. It's sad, but it's alive. I don't want to do a first line move. First line moves are boring. Um,
hey guys, we got a fight. How much do I want to fight him? Rather, what can I get from fighting him? What lovely things can I get from this fight? What spoils of war? I guess if we're just plunking down more and more stones, I just keep going for it, right? I mean, is there any reason for me to stop fighting here? Easy, they say. Oh, so easy. Oh wait, I, even if I get killed in any intermediate step of this way, there's no way white comes out of this alive. Is the tarring the two stones making any sense? I sat there reading that for a couple minutes and just couldn't figure it out. Um. I think he cuts me if I just ignore him, so I have to fix this. Yeah. So what would be a reasonable place to go? We still want the corner. So we're taking the corner. in. Oh, he's alive. I'm dumb. Oh, right. 
Now, guys, it's the weekend, you know? Wait. Yeah, no, I was right. That That's... Wait, that's a fake eye. It's a false eye. Uh, my opinion is swinging back and forth and back and forth. Um, but yeah, that's dead. Unless I do something really retarded. So what do we do now? Let's do something retarded. No, I'm just kidding. Um... Let's connect. It's alive now. Oh, now it's... Uh, I had to throw in... Or I don't know. Oh my goodness. I'm terrible. <laughs> it was always alive. Okay. I feel like I've been lied to. Nah. Whatever. It's just a game. So, I mean, what am I doing? Fine. Seems like not the right way to do this. Whatever it is that I'm doing here. Just worsening my situation. I tend to do that. Um, here, let's take that. Wait. No, I can surround this, and then, no, I can't fill in both of those. Goodness. Oh, yeah, I have to pick one or the other. Uh, these holes, and I can't fill them both. What am I aiming for here? So I've got one, two, three, four, five liberties. He's got three. And this has got one liberty. Or, I'm sorry, two. But if he plays at one of these points, then I'm cut. Um... I want to see where this goes. And I don't feel like reading it out. So we're going to play it and see where it goes. Oh, okay. So it's not just a case of me being slow. There's other possibilities. Um, okay, that's definitely a cut.
I doing something terribly wrong here? Atari. Okay. Wow, that's fast. What's he doing? Why is he moving so quickly? Okay, that's legal, but is it ethical? <laughs> uh, it's my alternative to that's legal, but is it a good idea? Um, What are we doing? What is any of this? <sighs> I guess white's getting out. Maybe. throw in here he kills me I don't even know what happens next This is all for me trying to save these four stones out here. Um, still going to try to run this way. Watching the double key digit cues fight it out. Okay, so now what? I mean, either I've terribly flubbed this or he's completely right the whole time or something in between. It's almost always something in between.
we're in the final Buyomi, guys. She gives us a reassurance the game will eventually end. And that I will not be in time pressure um, for all eternity. Oh shit. Oh, it's bound to happen. We tried, guys. We tried. But the clock was too much. He's really good at fighting. Okay, I didn't know that that would happen. I should have known. Fine, so get my stone. You got my stone. It's all yours. All my stones die. Well, we gotta try to make something of a life down here. That makes me unhappy. I don't understand why he wanted to play against me. Like, is this a contest for him? do I want to do? Not seeing a move.
Yeah, I'm not seeing any ideas here. I just really am seriously confused. Yeah, I... I have no idea what to play in this position. No idea, like, if I had anything at any point in this game. I see many of my stones controlling very little territory. It's just completely beyond me what happened this game. Yeah, good game. So, that happened. Whatever that was. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I don't have any idea what to say about this game. I mean, clearly, every step of the way I got outplayed. I did play okay. But there are better players out there. I mean, even in this final position, I have no freaking clue where to even begin to find a move. And yeah, every player does have their own way of discovering what moves to play. Um, I clearly got completely out-fought in this corner. Um, that probably had a large deal to do with just my motivation to continue, but objectively uh, for double digit cues anything could happen but I'm not sure yeah I mean it could be could be that I was doing better at the beginning I think my opening phase was okay um, but yeah when I got into um, Bioyomi uh, things hit the fan. Things really hit the fan. Um, you just have to read a lot and go. And at least I read that, like, if I place down here, you just kill my five. Like, that much I was able to see. Um, that I can't surround this group down here anymore. Um... I could have sworn that my group of four in the lower left was alive. I fought to the death for it, and died terribly trying to save it. Like here, I thought, surely, that I was better there. And maybe I was, I don't know. Like, you've got six stones there, I've got seven. Yes, it's your move, but I've got seven stones in the vicinity, and I've got all these stones over here. And I just didn't believe this at all. Um, and I wasn't going to back down from that. And I paid the ultimate price for not executing correctly, but I'm not sure what that says of this. Um... Maybe I just got too greedy there. I mean, if I'm going to back down every single time I get challenged um, like that, uh, Go is going to be a sad game. So I have to fight some of these things, but that's perhaps not the correct fight to be doing. But I didn't even see this fight coming. I'm like, surely if I play this, he's going to be like, oh, okay. I've got four stones here. They're not alive. I'm just going to let these four go. And that'll be that. I thought this absolutely was the right move. To, like, I just don't understand. Go is hard. 
Okay, so this is an overplay. I appreciate the informed opinion. Um, what else could I do? I mean, a go board has 19 columns and 19 rows. That makes uh, 361 squares on which I can place. Or 361, not squares, but um, points, I guess. Uh, intersections on which I can place. Uh, and yet, finding a move is challenging. The three stones in the corner are weaker than the white stones on the outside. Good to know. Intersections is the term. Okay. In this shape, the normal move is the knight's move on the second line. I assume we mean, like, here's a knight's move out. Um, just to run out and not die. That seems, yeah, less aggressive and certainly looks a lot more valuable. Yeah. This looks perhaps vaguely like something Nick Sabicki might show me at one point um, that, on his YouTube channel. Um, so, okay. I mean, that's a logical thing. They say, like, in Go... Uh, a stone can usually go off in three directions. So one's the corner here. I'm getting kind of close to the corner cramped there. One would be this way, where clearly this is in the way. And the third way would be, like, off this direction. I mean, you could split this however you want to split it, but any stone could go basically in three directions. Um, and this one didn't have very far to go. So, yeah, running off this way seems reasonable. I'm still concerned for all four of my corners. It really looks like, um, I don't know, my opponent managed to get stones into all four corners, which really shocked me. And I, okay, by this point, Things have gone south already. Um, but okay, this is just locally, that's fine. Um, let's back up a little bit more. Oh yeah, this stuff. Like, what the heck? Um, I was just really shocked by a lot of my opponent's moves this game. Why would anybody go into this? Oh, can I go back further? Sure. Uh, is this okay? Is this too far? I do hope that at one point uh, the ancient Go developers will... Oh, I can actually use arrow keys to navigate. Very nice. Did I respond to the 2-4 move? Uh, let's see. There's the 2-4 move. I ignored it. Is 3-3 three, three what I'm supposed to do against 2-4? Yeah, so there's 2-4, and I just played in the upper right corner. Um, to prevent him from taking this edge, and to secure the corner for myself, although it's already secured. Okay, 3-3 three, three is a Joseki. Tanuki's fine, too. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't know any 3-4 Joseki. 
or 4-3 or whatever this is. So I, I wanted to approach this somehow. I just had no idea what to do. Pincering, oh. Pincering the stones, like, what would that even mean in this position? Um, like, something like this? Where I'm pincering this? Or, I don't know what pincer means here. There's this. Is this a pincer? Right side. This right side? Bottom right white stones. Okay. This pincer is playable. A one space jump above these two. I assume we mean here. Yeah. This seems a lot smarter. Uh, so this he might play that, maybe. Um, but, I mean, this is all cool. I mean, there's a lot of things he could play. This is the only one that jumps out at me. Uh, yeah, without the coordinates. I hope that the devs add coordinates to this game. Or attach to the stone one space lower is fine. Yeah. Yeah, one space lower than the pincer move, right? So right over here would be fine. And that makes sense, because I have enough stones to uh, attach that closely. One thing I've been learning is that fighting right out of the opening, while that might be fun on a 9x9 board, it's less fun on the 19x19. It's more fun to... Uh, delay some of those fights until later. Uh, well, let's see. If he plays this, I don't know. 3-3 three, three is always a possibility, but it seems cowardly here. So we got one here, we got one here. I don't know. We do something. Play the point diagonally upright from... Oh, this one. So they actually 3-3 three, three here. Um, okay. Normal in this situation is diagonal attached to the white stone. Uh, diagonal attached to this dude? Oh, the star point, not the three. I mean, I am on the star point here. Oh, this one. No, oh, this star point. Wow. So. Oh, diagonally upright from the star point. I see. Yeah, two space jump here. Keeping this separated from that. Just preventing white from building anything over here. That seems fine. Yeah, that seems like at least I'm not letting my one stone drown over here. Not allowing either of these two to strengthen. That seems reasonable. Uh, and then white extends up. Maybe not literally that way, but maybe. Yeah. As fun as kicking is, um, I'm not sure I'd even recognize a kick if I saw one, but it sounds very combatorial. Oops, 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 oops. Uh, yeah, let's fix that. He's well behaved here. 
Um, kick is when black plays, when you just play, where you just played a white stone. Oh, so that would be a kick if I were to just play there. Oh, it's a diagonal move that, um, from your stone, that's right next to an opposing stone. Uh, yeah, let me take a look at this. Okay, yeah, that's a kick. It's a diagonal move which attaches. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I see that a lot more on my 9x9 board than I see it here. So yeah, it's legit to kick, but, you know, I'm taking as much of a hands-off approach in these openings as I can. Just because I'm trying to avoid these fights, but my opponents just keep bring it to, bringing fights to me. Oh, the normal sequence is to kick, then white extends up and black plays the pincer. So by up, we actually mean toward the center. Something I heard from Nick, um, Nick Sabicki's lecture just yesterday, online, uh, in this YouTube thing. So that's what we mean by up. And then black plays a pincer somewhere out here, here, somewhere. Uh, two space jump seems safest. Three space might be a bit much. I don't know. Right, yeah, you can never fully stop the corner invasion without conceding something else. Okay, so you, you guys advocate the two-space jump as just being the same thing to do. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> Congrats, Swish. I'm beating the guy that I lost to yesterday. Well done. That, like, makes you better than me or something, Echo. Oh, a two-space high pincer. So, like, one, two... A high pincer, like, up here? Interesting. I do like that these aren't on the same rank, or file, or column. Um, that we have. Well, I guess you do you do use the word rank to describe things based on their distance from the edge of the board. Um, whoever side white doesn't res yeah he can't respond to both sides simultaneously. Continues with a two space jump. Ah, uh, interesting. Like, he, he's not jumping up. This would be a two space jump here. This would also, I guess, be a two space jump. Oh, into the center. Okay. Well, that's special. Wow. Apparently, we've advanced to the part of the game where 
jumping up the board makes sense. I guess there's nowhere else to go here, but uh, he can't go right, he can't go left, he's got to go up. So... Yeah, and I guess there's value to this, because now he's starting to flow out into this section of the board. I guess a two-space jump is normal once you've already got some level of thickness. Maybe not necessarily this much thickness, but once you got something, a two-space jump seems reasonable. A one-space jump seems less ambitious. So yeah, that was a game. Are there any further comments on this, or should I go on to another one? It makes sense. Yeah. So... Sounds like we're ready for another game, guys. Is that the case? Well, I'm not hearing any objections. Yeah. It's good to have this theory, too. I don't even know if that game was rated. I don't really much care, because I'm 22Q. When I do improve, if or when, um, that ranking and rating will change by itself. And if it doesn't, we'll just find a different site. But it's just a number. Um, obviously, for players who are farther along than I am, it's more than just a number. But for me, eh. I am an amateur. I'm still learning things. Yeah. Yes, this is Ancient Go. I'm quite impressed with the user interface. I like this. I just wish that the music would carry over until your game started. That would be just the nicest touch ever. Bonus points if it could actually remember some of these settings so I didn't have to type them in every time. But, uh, American Go Association rules say fight to the death you can still hmm yeah I'm not familiar with other rule sets but apparently they're implemented um public game yeah let, I guess by default these are not ranked but I'm seeking another ranked game to zoom out a touch oh I still can't place stones um See, so yeah, I think I'm still floating on a 22Q rank. Surely that last game didn't help, but I think that I just had the default setting for the last game anyway, and the default says unranked, so it didn't hurt either. <laughs> um, yeah, this board is beautiful. Um, basically... The target audience of this game is for people who are learning to play Go, who want a beautiful board to play on, who, um, I guess, to some extent, appreciate the title music, who benefit somewhat from the tutorial, and just want to see a desktop Go game. Um, so basically, the target audience for this game is me. Um, because I am the uber noob of Go, still learning things, uh, still, I don't know, appreciate basically everything that this game has to offer. Um, 
And now that it plays online, so much the better. All right, Rich, good luck. Let's zoom in. So, okay, can't place on the first rank, so there we go. Resumed correctly. Um, I don't know my opponent's rank. All right, we're going to go for it again. Because it's Friday. Uh, oh, gosh. What have I done? Okay, we're going to play on the bottom part of the board. Just because it's easier to keep track of stuff here. Um, oh, can I play? Well, no, that's too far. Okay, he's attacking my stone. Um, do I care? I don't even know. Maybe. I mean, if I just let that go, then he gets the corner for free. So, um, I don't know where to go. I don't understand this aggression, Rich. Yeah. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think you're in a position to help keep the civility in this channel. Not, every, not everybody's in that position. Um, yeah, let's just do this. It's a large extension. Very large extension. Although all my stones are third line. Maybe a knight's jump would be okay, too. Uh, I don't understand that move. So... Things are going on in this game. Uh, let's just take the corner. Hmm. I still don't understand this aggression. Okay. So I connect. understand that either. Atari, he connects. So I'm playing some slow moves here, apparently. What? What is this about? I mean, yeah, he's building a wall. I get that. Does he not see, like, this corner? Why would... I... I don't get it.
I don't want all my stones to die, so I'm connecting like... Okay, he jumps up. Um... Yeah, but taking center territory is no easy matter. Hmm. Also, he's playing very quickly. Like, I can't keep up with that pace. We're in Bioyomi already. Um, tired of accidentally having my things killed. Plus, he's putting me in time pressure, so just as a practical matter, so I don't get all my stuff killed because I have no time to think. Um, I'm playing this way. Two, three, four. That's too close. This is probably okay. Is that where I want to go? Uh, probably. Star point might have been fine too. This is provocative. This is less provocative. Understand that aggression. Okay, so I missed that he could kill one of my stones, but... Am I not okay here? Do I have to fix this? I really hope not.
Oh, that cutting point's actually way more important than I thought. Well, damn. I don't understand how he can think about everything so quickly. Like, do I have to put the start time at like 30 minutes or 60 minutes or something to get an opponent who takes the game seriously? Yeah, you're right. No, it's just, it's like playing ping pong, though. It's very distracting. I shouldn't worry about it, and yet it's extremely distracting. It's Atari.
I think I'm doing okay. Yeah, he's building one heck of a wall, but I'm getting something too. I can't kill this, can I? Well, maybe. It's worth trying, I think. It's an empty tr- well, it's- I mean, it's a filled triangle by that definition, but... Okay, that's Atari. We react to the Atari. It's also Atari. Can I not cap this somehow? Atari number two. Unless I've got some shortage of liberty problem, I'm pretty sure I'm doing okay here. Uh, what's that? What is that? I'm paranoid. I, I can't handle the tension here. I'm just going to kill that right now. Maybe there's a more efficient answer. Uh, at this moment, I don't care.
Oh, he does stop me there. I was thinking he was just going to let me in. But no such luck. Is it normal for 17 Qs to let you just kill all their stones like this? I mean, we are double-digit Qs, but... Um, to make one blunder after another just seems strange to me. Oh, it's Atari. Atari? No, that's not Atari. Never mind. Definitely not Atari there. However, he is Atariing me, so I'll need to run. This is Atari. Okay. Well, I did okay that game. 
<laughs> yes. Disco Waffles says, blood for the blood god. Uh, yes. Uh, that apparently what happened that game. Um, my opponent built the wall. And he kept building the wall. And, um, yeah. That happened. So... Not sure if we could end it on a better note than that. Maybe I should end it here. Oh, it is getting late. Wow. So, yeah, apparently I learned a thing or two. Um, thanks again to everybody for the helpful pointers. Not that I was getting any cheating advice during the game, because I wasn't. Um, but just in general, the helpful advice about how to do openings and what are reasonable ways to play in positions. Um, that's what happens when influence is grown in Gote. Um, not sure I fully appreciate that, but I'm sure... Um, I'm sure it's a good thing. Um... Yeah, no, I, overall this game, I guess overall I've been playing my stones more effectively. Um, also, today I've been uh, playing black quite a bit, so I'm not sure how that all works out. Um, but yeah, we got a cross game going. Nick Sabiki showed that, hey, by the way, you can get this stuff, you can play like this. And... Um, it seems like a pretty silly way to play, but, um, and it seems to get me in enormous, enormous, um, time pressure. But overall, I think I played okay. Um, obviously if I want to improve long term, say as a competitive Go player, you gotta figure out, um, just... I mean, there's a lot of Joseki to learn. There's a lot of experience to be gained. But, man, in terms of getting something just chaotic, where both players have to think, this kind of cross game, um, this, is an interesting way to go. Um, for sure, this is something where, um, no matter how much your opponent knows all the Joseki, they're not going to know what to do here. This can just branch off in an infinite number of directions. And so, for me, this is just a really fun way to play it. Um, uh, the only downside of this is that, um, yeah, there is that whole time pressure situation. I'm not building up generalized knowledge about how to play for uh, Moyos versus um, how to play for influence, well, how to play for territory versus how to, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say, how you play fourth line versus third line. Um, in ancient Go, this is the way games begun, with the cross opening. Interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a fun way to play. It always catches me by surprise how my opponents just, like, fight like hell out of the opening. Like, no respect there. <laughs> None whatsoever. I guess either that or he's just impatient. Yeah, who knows. Uh, I, I don't even mean that personally or anything. I'm just saying in terms of... Um, Go moves that kind of like respect that your opponent is doing something reasonable. That particular move doesn't seem up there. That's probably okay. A lot of go moves are fine. It's an approach move. It defends the corner in some sense. Um, but man, we get this stuff going and uh, all the stuff dies. Um, yeah, I did manage to reduce the lower right corner. I managed to put up some kind of fight here in the upper left, though it probably wasn't perfect. I'm 
tired, so I'm not going to learn much about those particular Joseki at the moment. Um, yeah, I managed to somehow... Yeah, this caught me off guard. I thought that this was um, a good move. But then I realized I can connect under... And he has to fill in the triangle, so I've gained a move. Um, although I have to make sure I fix my stuff. But So he's gone over, I've gone under. I'm threatening to lance further into this corner. Uh, having these stones here helps me solidify my upper right. In general, I tend to freak out if my opponents play 3-3, three, three, so I should still figure out what to do about that. Um, the attachment is pretty much to ask, you approached here, but didn't follow it up. What are you looking for in here? Um, <laughs> even though the pincer that... Okay, so we're talking about this attachment. Uh, this one right here. Said so you approached, but you didn't follow it up. Although I think I... Oh, yeah. No, you're right. Um, the approach wasn't my last move. So it's white asking what I'm doing. Okay. Even though the pincer that happened at the top left, I guess you're saying like out here, pincering this, is a more usual way to ask. Or even a pincer over here or something. It's a more typical way to ask. I guess it's probably fine. Just trying to get some clarity. Um, but yeah, I played my stones efficiently. This, well, okay. Um, yeah, this caught me off guard too. Because that just loses a stone. And he tried to double down. And so I'm forced to take it. And now I have even more protecting my corner. Um, and trying to claim this side and corner and stuff. So, I think somewhere around here is where he lost the thread. I'm not sure whether this 4-2 uh, or 2-4 move rattled him a bit. Um, I think really he should just play elsewhere. Like, Tanuki is the word for that. But, um, I think that playing over here just made it worse and worse for him. The client does not have an option for coordinates, else I'd enable it. Um, maybe in a future version of the client they will add coordinates. I've been suggesting this and I hope that they will. Otherwise I'll have to find a way to just inject them into my overlay. Um, it'd probably look awful, but what else can we do? Um, yeah, I really hope that they somehow add some way, even if it's not, like, traditional coordinates, like, if they, even they added colors or markers or something, something more beautiful than letters and numbers, that would be fine, too. Um, but it'd be cool to have some way to, uh, communicate with you guys about, uh, what's going on. Um... This particular move, uh, yeah, I guess that forces me to fix. And this forces me to connect. Hmm. No, okay, yeah, this makes sense for him here. He's trying to claim something in this corner, but it just keeps worsening for him. Okay, yeah, this move I'm not so sure about, because I had to follow it up with that, but... On the other hand, I'm gaining space while I'm doing all this, so that's not so bad. Um, yeah, so I um, Atari him. Possibly he should just, I don't know. No, he does build a wall. Building the wall's fine. Um, I try to extend some influence into the middle. Like I saw, if I go here, he just goes one to the left, and um, I just built a triangle. So I go one further, I get a one-space jump. 
I half expected him to just cut me there, but um, he's interested in expanding into the middle as well. Oh, I should have just taken the point he played on. It seems reasonable enough. I mean, almost anything I do seems reasonable in some way. Yeah. Anyway, um, this game got complicated pretty quickly in terms of how do I try to reduce this center. Um, ultimately, I prevailed. I'm never going to have the same exact game twice here. Um, and the only other thing I'll comment on is just how amusing this particular situation was. Like, how do we get here? Um, yeah, he plays this. I probably had an even better way to address that. Like, I don't understand. This is him playing on both sides. He's playing on the outside and on the inside, or up and down with respect to my line of peat. Um, my line of stones. Doesn't seem like a very bright idea. I mean, I, I guess he does want to make sure I don't... He does want to try to reduce me here, but... Um, yeah, I actually cut him here, because he's not paying any attention. I don't know if this cut here was any good. It was probably a wasted move. There were probably better moves for me to play, like, I don't know, here. Just trying to really stop this before it spreads anywhere. Um, anything I can do to keep this as limited as possible would be reasonable. Instead, I went directly for cutting, which is pretty silly here and just assumes that I can kill something, and it's just not a very good way to go. So I made my life complicated. Um, it would have been far more reasonable for me to just try to move into the corner here, to assert that my corner is enormous, maybe even cut there, forcing him to connect. Just start building walls and reducing this and extending my corner a little bit and cutting into this corner and just solidifying this. Although this lower left corner seems extremely solid. Um, you know, the double tiger valve defense. Uh, yeah, extending into that was just silly. It did separate these two stones. That's what I was looking for. I guess that did weaken both sides of that. So it's not entirely bad. But it's just really, really slow. Because, like, if he connects, I'm not going to go there and try to kill stuff. And... There's so many other ways I can approach this situation, yet I go right into the heart of it. Um, so, yeah, there's bound to be dozens of other reasonable moves here. And then there's the one that I picked. Uh, pretty sure I'm still 22Q, but we'll get there. Anyhow, yeah, hope you enjoyed. It's been fun. Um, thanks for watching. That's Ancient Go. That mandolin or harp or whatever, well, it's some sort of harp. Whatever it is, it never gets old. It's a very nice touch. Yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.